So last time we created this test command right here, which of course, when used, it would make this, this is a test message appear. In this video, we'll be going over more of what you can do with commands. So let's just continue using the test command right here. But actually, before we even continue with that, let's go over to the settings right here. Now last time I mentioned how you have to use a command tag in order to input a command through the bot. So for example, if you use exclamation point, that'll mean that like, you know, you'll take an exclamation point, then put the command in order to have the command activated through the bot. You can customize this to be whatever you want. So for example, we can do like a, a pound sign like that. So now if we go and run the project like this and go find our bot over here, we'll now see that the bot will use a pound sign in order to call the test command. So pound test like that. So you can use whatever you like, or you can just not use it at all. For example, you can go and like stop our project right here. Remove this entirely like that, and then just make it so that whatever you set the tag to be in the command, or if there's no tag at all, that'll just appear for the command. So for example, we'll just do test like that, and now it'll just appear just like that. So it's up to you what or how you're going to do things with your tag. Anyway, with that aside, let's first look at the other two inputs besides the name, which are going to be the restriction and the permission. Obviously, as you can imagine, the permission is what the user is going to have to have in order in terms of permissions for using this command. So if we set it so the permission is kick members, that means the user will have to have the permission kick members in order to use the test command. Now for the command restriction, this is a lot simpler. This will just simply set it so the command can only be used anywhere, in the server only, only by the owner of the server, or through the DMs only. As for actions, which are gonna be things that occur when a command is called, there is quite a bit of stuff you can do. If you click on the send message button up here, that'll give us a list of all of the available actions. So as you can see, we have stuff that lets us control the client bot part. So for example, we can set the bot game to be like, I don't know, test like that. So now as you can see, when we call the test command, it'll send this message, then also set the bot's game to test. So a thing to keep in mind when you have multiple actions is that they'll all be done in the order provided. So this will be the first one that happens. Then once this is done, the second one is called just like that. Anyway, once again, we'll save our project, go up here and run the project just like this. And now if we go into our thing right here, we'll just go pull this back. We'll type in test. And as you can see, this is a test. And also the bot's game is now set to test right here. So it's really that simple. That's all you gotta do. Just set up an action to occur in the list you want them to occur in, and they'll occur just like that. So let's create another action such as, I don't know, um, we'll go do role control. We'll create a role and we'll call this role um, red. And we'll set the color of the role to be red. So we'll do an hex color code like FF0000. And um, we'll just leave everything blank for now. So now three things will occur. We can send a message, set the bot's game, then it'll create a role. Now while we're on the topic of stuff, here are what the other controls do. Highlight the command and hit edit, and that'll let us edit the command to be something else. So for example, we'll set it to be, uh, this is different now. Oh, I, I butchered that, but who cares? So this will set the bot game to be this is different. We can also delete commands by just hitting that delete command like that and now delete the highlighted command, I mean action. And yeah, that is that. You can shift them up and down by just using these arrows like that. And that's all there is to it. So once again, we'll save, we'll do project run project just like that. And now what will happen is we'll create a role called red and set the bot game to this is different. So we'll go once again, pull up the discord like this, type in test, and now as you can see, this is different. And also if we go to our roles and right here, so roles, we'll find that, hey, here's our red role that is <laughs> that is red and it's red. So yeah. Anyway, that's all for this tutorial. Come back next time when we learn how to use variables and that's gonna be a fun joy of a thing to do. Yeah.